I'm one up on you because that's the second time I've watched it. So um, I, I, I think it's um, one of those things we need to watch over and over and over and over again to catch everything and allow the Holy Ghost to talk to us, to begin to realize that what's there. He was dealing primarily with healing and deliverance, but I was just considering as I watch it this time that if the words we speak are spirit and life, okay, he spoke spirit and life, and the words we speak are spirit, then it will affect the part of the individual that needs to be like Christ. If the dove goes out and he lands on, on whoever you're speaking to, the dove is there to bring about the kingdom. And the kingdom is righteousness first. Secondly, peace in that individual and joy in that individual. And I, I begin to, you begin to think about how many times you've spoken to people and you just turn them off. And come on, if we're honest, we'll all say we... Been there, done that. We, we've, turned, we've turned people off. Because what they see is us. And they, and they don't see the dove. The dove doesn't come forth. There's, there's not the releasing of the dove. We mean well. We, we want to do that. But the bottom line is we got to have this releasing of the dove. And, and what, I th what I love about it is the fact it's some of the things he mentioned was the unconscious act like Peter's shadow or Jesus is having this conversation, this woman grabbed his garment, you know. All of those things take away the individual, gee, look what I did. That's even better than, that's even better than praying and fasting. Praying and fasting is still the same old thing. Look, I prayed, I fasted, and we got a miracle. You got the picture? But the issue is, if we walk in this dimension of what he's talking about, and we understand that it's not about you or me. It's not who we are. It's who he is. And when we release those words, those words are released into people's life. It's supposed to bring three things. Righteousness. And to me, righteousness, righteousness isn't right doing. That's legalism. Right thinking brings right doing. So the kingdom is in the realm of thinking. It's right thinking. Out of the abundance of the heart. Out of the reality of the heart. So the kingdom is righteousness, brings peace, and joy. Because why? Because in his presence is the fullness of joy. That's the reality. That's where we all ought to be living. That's where we all ought to be expressing. That's where the dove in our life wants to work. And I'm like, I'm like Brother Bill. Whatever that is, I want to express that. Whatever that is, I want to, I want to, I want to bear that. Brother Bud and I were, were talking. He mentioned about, he mentioned about um, um, people. Um, touching you and you you sense the release of power and uh, I, I but related a, a, a time when 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 a when a brother we were at a meeting and the man laid his hand on bud and he said I was at the point I couldn't I couldn't stand up I was I, I was just and and I've had I've had hundreds of people pray for me and I'm usually the guy that I'm still standing but I'll never forget, Sister Fran and I, one time we're in a meeting. And David Huskins laid his hands on us. And before I knew what happened, my feet were two foot above my head. And it wasn't, it wasn't, it was, I, I'm expecting to see Fran on the floor and me still standing there. Because that's usually the, that's usually the situation. But he expressed, he released the power of the dove. He released it. And that's what God wants for every one of us. Because our communication, what we say, 
is what causes the dove to either go forth. You're either going to get one or two. You're going to get the dove or you're going to get the vulture. Amen? I, I don't know about you. I'm, I'm going to watch this again probably tomorrow. I, I, I like this one. This is, this is one of those ones I really like. And so, praise God. Amen? Amen. 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 I, I, I'm looking forward for every one of us. Every one of us. Open our mouth and the dove comes out. Amen. Amen. We open our mouth, we think, and the dove comes out. Yes, Miss Savani. Well, I, is this like, like when we're a little kid in class? Hi, God. I got to go to the bathroom. <laughs> Come on. I wanted to say, I know you do. <laughs> That's how I know he loves me, he teases me. Um, I wanted to say something to when Jackie got up here. Jackie, I don't, I can't even think about what I want to say. There's a billion things. But this week, the God, Lord has been speaking to me about water, water. It just kept coming, water, water. And I have to back up a little bit of what, um, I've been going through personally, but I've been hearing the voice of God through the whole thing. So um, a week before Stephen and Colleen's wedding, I got really sick, and I ended up going to urgent care, and she gave me an exam, and she's like, okay, we want to send you in for some urgent testing the next day. So I went to all this testing, and I was really not feeling well. <laughs> Um, and they found a cyst that was three centimeters on my, one of my ovaries, and I was just, and she's like, oh, oh, no big deal. Like, you know, you'll go through your next cycle. It'll be no, no big deal. So this month, I started feeling the same way. I'm like, I'm like, oh, my God, God, this is ridiculous. I don't want to go through this all the time. And um, so I was like, okay, so I started to do everything I could in my own strength. I'm like, I'm going to eat different. I'm going to do all these different things and really hear what I'm saying because this is really, like, it's, I'm going through it, but it's not about me. Um, and so this week, I just kept hearing water, the water. Like, so I was changing everything in my diet, everything I was doing, but I wasn't drinking enough water. And so this week, I, I was like, okay, that's it. I'm sticking to making sure I get enough water. And I feel so much better. I actually feel to the point where I feel like everything down there is dissipated and it's totally gone. But when Jackie, when you came up here and, you know, and even it was kind of funny because as we were up here, I just want to explain what happened before everyone got here. So Andy starts doing this three chord progression and we're all up here and we're not really knowing what we're doing and Heather starts singing Deep Cries Out. And it's not like, it's the, what we were playing really didn't go to Deep Cries Out. She was just kind of singing it to, to it. And then so we're up here a second time and she's over here and she starts singing it again. And I'm going, the water, the water, the washing of the water. The water heals. The water cleanses. And as I began to drink this week and drink and drink and drink, I felt better. I felt the healing of God come. And so I just I want to witness to what Jackie said tonight and for us to really take heart because I really sense the presence of God and even in the prophetic, there is a cleansing and a healing in each one of our hearts and lives right now that has to take place to get rid of whatever it is that is hindering, I guess, I could even say, because it was my reproductive organs, <laughs> reproduction. So I just, I wanted to share that tonight. I thought it was so awesome how God unfolded the service, and um, I just wanted to give you all the facts of what happened because it, it was just a wonderful thing to hear Jackie say that and it just witnessed to my spirit. So, 
I, I have to admit this, Andy. I, I, I've sung that song. I don't know how many times we sung that song, Jump in the River, and, but I didn't know all the words. You know, um, it usually, usually during worship, I don't even look at the overhead. You know, I, I like sing along with Mitch, you know, but anyway, I, I, never, I never realized the word said, dig, dig the wells. Dig the wells. And this is the thought that came to me. It was real prophetic. We're, they're complaining out here now because it's not raining. We haven't, we, haven't had a, we haven't had enough rain. It's very dry. And the thing is, if, if you're like me and you live on a well, if it's dry, sooner or later the well will go dry. Because it doesn't get enough water. But you know something, this is what I saw prophetically when we were singing that, was that we dig the well deep enough, you'll hit an artesian well. And when you hit an artesian well, it doesn't matter how dry it is, it always comes up. And water, like she said, water always is, is life and refreshing and cleansing and purifying and and, and all of that. And I, I think that's the key for every one of us. If, 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 if our life in the spirit is a little dry, dig the well deeper. Amen? Get it till it's down there where it bubbles up all by itself. Amen? Praise God. Well, we got to pray for Donna and Irene that the boat don't sink. And uh, praise God. And... And fortunately, I, I fortunately my phone goes. Fortunately, every time every time somebody posts something on Facebook, I get a beep on my phone. My phone makes this funny noise. It sounds like a canary whistling or, or something. And I happen to glance down, and I began. I I realize that Gary is on some road trip to San Diego. So. I didn't know that, so we need to pray for him that uh, that he has safe traveling. Come on, lady. Come on, let's let's pray for these ladies. <laughs> I forgot the words. I ain't jumping yes. that water. I'm going to go. We're going snorkeling for three hours. We are going to be.